close the tools. Let's just have uh, a few pieces of information. How many of you tonight are under 30? How many of you tonight here are under 40? Under 50? Are the under 50s a majority? Let's have another look. How many of you are under 50? Okay, everyone under 50 in the spirit of 1968, now take off your clothes. Toasts in order of importance. Uh, order of importance of what happened in that glorious year. And I start with a toast to the epic resistance of the Vietnamese people who showed up in the way. Here is a toast following that to the French workers and students. Very hard to win, but alas, didn't succeed. But in doing what they did, transformed European politics for years to come. And here's a toast to the students and workers and reform communists in Prague who understood that socialism in order to succeed had to be democratic and had to have a human face. And here's a toast to the civil rights activists in the United States and all those who rioted and fought in the black ghettos of this country to win civil rights. And a very special toast to the comrades of the Black Panther movement who fought, who were repressed, who were killed, but who tried to present a more imaginative approach to the black and white population of this country. And here's a very big toast to the anti-war movement in the United States, which helped to bring the war machine to a standstill. And the last toast is to the layers that inspired by the liberation struggles in Vietnam and the black liberation movements and the anti-war movements began a struggle for sexual freedom and liberation. Ow! The women's liberation movement and the gay rights movement. Ow! And with all these toasts, I hope that the generations of today and tomorrow will learn both from the successes and the mistakes of that period and go forward. So cheers.